what went wrong between you and Puffy? Because if I'm not mistaken, he made you give up your ownership in Bad Boy, right? And they had you in the room and they had bats and they made you give over your percentage. All right, I would love to be able to answer that. Like I said, the evolution of the company started like you and I sitting like we are right now. If in a way it's like you're there and I'm across from you. That's the way we started Bad Boy. I would come over to the Uptown office, my notebooks writing down everything I needed to do that day. Oh, let's get the let's get the uh, uh, the LLC together. Oh, call Kenny. We need the employment agreement. Oh, let's do this. So oh, we got this session to do. Oh, mostly it was productions with the producers because we were uniquely situated as Bad Boy Productions to do productions on Uptown artists productions, and we were paid through Bad Boy, through Uptown paying Bad Boy to do tracks for like Heavy D, Mary J, things of that sort. So we were very active in that and, and that kept us very busy in that time to do that. And what happened along the way, we had a lot of success, got fired from Uptown, I was there helping him to build back up again, loyal, no betrayal, no stealing, family, his son's God's godfather, we were renegotiating Bad Boy. We had gotten over CCNY. It looked like the coast was clear. We were renegotiating with Arista. We were about to get a step up in the money. I had 25% of the company. I didn't know why he needed to get that back from me and then give it back to me again. I didn't understand that. That's like a a trick like okay here I gave it to you now give it back and don't worry I'm gonna give it right back to you I didn't want to give it up so he came into my office one day unexpected him and Kenny my salus, they had it planned out Kenny had the briefcase with all the stock certificates in it and and Diddy had the bat not like I'm gonna beat the shit out of you with the bat but he had the bat like man we got to do this this has to happen I didn't feel I was going to get beat down in that office, in all honesty. I got people that can jump out of the shadows in a minute. I wasn't threatened by him. What I was messed up over was the fact that I started this company with you from day zero, and now the one solid thing that you told me I had, you want to take that back and do a return to me on that at this critical time that we're, rene that we're renegotiating and getting a step up on the contract. When he told me it was about all of that renegotiating and that I should trust, I did, begrudgingly, angry, upset. It wasn't right. I did it. He got, the, he got the stock back. I went on, tried to get over that, kept doing my job, doing what I had to do, delivering everything. That, and once again, I was caught up in the job. I forgot all about it. And next thing you know, we had the snafu. I was fired. And he just said, oh, okay, bye. And since he had never given me the stock back, he never said that he would pay me anything or give me anything. He just avoided me all these years. Not only did he avoid me all these years, running high and low, I went on and started working with Mary, who the three of us started out together through Bad Boy Productions, What's the 411? She was signed to Uptown. She was started out under an elder A&R person he assumed an internship position from internship to uh, uh, vice president of AD and A&R. He assumed the Mary Project. He put that magic on it. And with all of that success, when he got fired from there, the depression sunk in, suicide attempts, me, him, and his mother holding him together, Andre bringing him back, more success. Andre fires him, more depression. I set up the company, go get the deal for distribution. Biggie dies, depression, upset, wrong decision, the worst. I'm tired of puffing him up now. Cause so many people that warned. I'm a little not distant, but not running after you with the shovel, cleaning up all the shit. Smell a little bit of it now. We lost the number one guy that we have. Listen, smell a little bit of it. Learn a lesson. 
He said, nah, you out. <laughs> I didn't pursue it with a lawsuit. I looked at it like this was big, black, beautiful. I had something to do with it. It looks good. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of all the other cultures that looked at us and said they were winning. This was beautiful. And say, oh, I knew something was messed up with those guys. I knew something was wrong. I was trying to hold that back. At the same time, it was the worst thing that could have ever happened. He didn't want to honor me with credit. He started erasing my names off the albums, taking me off of anything that had any history with the, with the company. He uh, never paid me not one thing out. Percentage-wise, legacy-wise from Bad Boy Entertainment, and I had 25%. In the legal world, I still have what they call a tolling agreement. If you give someone something, take it back and didn't give them a fair exchange in value for it, then it's not a, con a, a consummated deal per se. I still have a claim on those stocks.